Welcome everyone, Dr. Thor here. Get ready for Gnosis. Well, I want to continue a little talk that I've been doing on um, YouTube uh, doctors, nutritionists, etc. that are out there. And uh, one of the most notable ones, uh, and I've done a longer talk on this, but I'm going to break this down to individual people in shorter clumps so people can get to it. And that is Dr. Eric Bird. Now, I've been a researcher for over 50 years, uh, particularly in uh, subtle force physics, um, metaphysics, occult sciences, and uh, with a very deep interest in and have been testing and researching uh, um, healing in general, particularly alternative supplements, etc. So I have a long record of it. I have a, a doctorate in the occult sciences. I have a doctorate in force energy physics, and I've been doing this for many years. I've been, I'm the author of 35 books. I've been on CNN, BBC. I've been on the Art Bell Show. All of these things that, uh, I have done in the past and had the only radionic store ever in existence on the planet for three years in Palm Springs, California. So I am really the number one authority when it comes to force energy physics, oftentimes called subtle energy, which is kind of an insult. Uh, that's like calling a, a guy who's six foot six tiny. Uh, it's an amusing uh, reference and, of course, incorrect and perpetrated by the boobs of science. Um, the regular common scientists. But, um, so I'm very qualified in this area to judge what's going on. Uh, now, Dr. Eric Berg uh, is very popular. Apparently, uh, he makes a fortune from selling supplements. Uh, he has his own brand, etc., uh, he makes a lot of money with his cohorts at Scientology. He's a Scientologist, sells a lot of product to them, is one of their major advisors in the health industry, and they work together, which is the controversial aspects of him. So, keeping that in mind, uh, I, you know, uh, to condemn anybody for their religious practices um, is easily done when it's certain groups. No, it used to be them, them Jews, and Jews, horrible Jews, and black people, and black people. So to condemn somebody for those kind of things just shows an intrinsic racism. Now, Scientology, and of course, um, his son uh, was very upset with him, and uh, they have broken communications with the whole family, as is so typical with Scientology. But not only Scientology... If you don't do what daddy says when you go to churchy uh, or you're a rabbi, you're kicked out of the family. So let's not uh, demonize Scientology any more than it deserves to be. Certainly all religions, these comic book fantasies that people spend their lives in, are worthless and destructive. That includes everything, including Buddhism. So the whole idea is we've got to keep this in mind and understand the process that's going on here so we get things in proper uh, context here. Now, I've been watching uh, uh, Dr. Berg for many, many years. Now, he's a chiropractor. He's not a medical doctor, um, just as I'm not a medical doctor. I'm Dr. Thor, uh, and I have a doctorate degree in two subject matters. So the whole idea is uh, we need time. So he's a chiropractor, and of course, a lot of people are chiropractors. Many of the people you're getting nutritional advice from on YouTube are chiropractors. Now, when it comes to nutritional backgrounds, uh, chiropractors uh, are more involved in nutrition and alternative thinking. So they're really a better source to a degree, but we have to look at all these people and give you the actual um, background to them. So the bottom line with Dr. Berg is that um, uh, he's a Scientologist, which I think is good. They think of alternative. They've been into alternative member, um, um, alternative uh, uh, medicine. For many, many years, it was part of Hubbard's belief system, regardless of whether he followed through with it or not. The bottom line is that uh, being alternative is good. Do we need another person standing up there telling you to take some toxic drug from the pharmaceutical corporations? Well, the bottom line is the people who produce supplements are pharmaceutical corporations unto themselves. And uh, they, it's a billion, billion dollar, I think it's $60 billion a year is spent on supplements. We have to be very careful of that. So 
Um, so the information we're getting from everybody, all places, under rocks, above rocks, in the demodamia, in the corporate laboratories, who all owe their soul to corporate money, is all bogus nonsense. That includes everything nutritional alternative. They're no better. Matter of fact, I found alternative practitioners are just as greedy, if not more, than your average little doctor, who's basically only in medicine to make money and doesn't really care about you, but neither does the chiropractors who you walk out of their office with $300 worth of supplements that are probably all garbage, because supplements in general are garbage. So, so Berg makes his own uh, supplements. He has his own brand, etc. These tend to be expensive, but he does run sales and everything else. I don't know if his stuff is any better than anybody else's. I haven't purchased it and tested it. But there is claims by his now disaffected ex-son, <laughs> if we can call him that, um, who claims that he made tens of millions of dollars. I find that hard to believe, but who knows? Uh, claiming that he made something like $60 million in supplements. I guess it's possible, but let's just cut that in half. $30 million in supplements? Woo! Well, he lives well and does well. He has a huge following on YouTube and has for many, many years. People seem to love him, his advice, etc. And we're going to get into that. And what does it actually mean? Now, he is not, uh, he was a chiropractor. Uh, he came under licensing problems uh, when complaints are made against him because he used untested uh, testing equipment, unusual different stuff. You know, things that work, that give you good information. So he was persecuted for that. He stopped practicing many, many years ago in terms of taking clients in. Okay, I think he saw the problems on the writing on the wall. And he decided that he would uh, actually stay out of practice. And he was busy doing lots of other things. I mean, making YouTube videos, doing research and everything else. Uh, people don't understand how actually time-consuming and difficult that is. Apparently, he does have a staff now, people that help him, because he does apparently have a lot of money. He has a ranch somewhere where he raises cattle and certain other things. Um, and that's important. We'll get into all that in the actual uh, future here. But um, so that's, I mean, basically, that's his background. Um, his information in general, on a scale of one to 10, I'd probably give him a six or seven. I wouldn't give him past that because there's some major problems with his research. And that is the lack of uh, direct feedback. Now, he does a lot of research. Um, he's fairly knowledgeable. I found him to be lacking in several areas, particularly he just prescribes or recommends high dosages uh, of supplements. Uh, I'm not sure he checks out anything. I'm not sure what he knows it really is assimilated by the body. It's not what you take. It's what you assimilate. I'm not sure he uh, actually um, understands all that. Or we'll talk about it. And I'm not sure how credible his supplements are unless he's watching things. He claims he puts lots of ingredients in there and everything else that are special to him. Certainly his formulas are kind of interesting, but also kind of bland and plain. There's nothing overly new there. So we have to understand that as a, as a bigger picture, uh, looking at what he's doing. So um, instead of stressing how great his formulas are, and he kind of tries to stay away from that on YouTube because you can't make advertisements there, um, there is not much talk about that. There's not talk about supplements, what's good, what's not, which I think would be very pertinent to what he's talking about, and something overlooked. His dosages and so forth seem to be uh, questionable in a lot of areas. He also is basically is a researcher alone. He's looking at other people's data and then reporting it to you. This is one of the biggest problems with YouTube and in general in the world. Uh, but everybody wants to make money off of YouTube. It's easy to do. Doctors get up there and talk their garbagey crap that they always do. Uh, just so they can say, I'm an MD, I recommend this. Blah, 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 blah. Give me $10,000 because I'm going to get a million views. So the whole idea is that's the reality of it. And as such, uh, they have little credibility. Where are they getting their information from? Well, they're reading it out of other journals, which is another problem with YouTube. There are people that are making their entire living and have hundreds and hundreds of thousands of views by looking at other people's material 
publishing, etc., and then talking about it on YouTube. These people have no background whatsoever. One was even an ex-preacher turned Satanist who doesn't wear shirts and only wears a jacket. Another street dude is a musician, man. Look at what this guy said here. Um, so the whole idea is, um, what credibility is that? I mean, these people have no background whatsoever, and they're commenting on what are political and other situations. So it's a real problem. And this is a big con, which apparently seems to be a big part of YouTube, is get other people's information, talk about it from no educational viewpoint whatsoever, no experience, no nothing. You know, I've, I've been a researcher for 50 years and the expert in the world in radionics and uh, force physics. So the whole idea is that uh, these bozos go out and talk about this, and I don't think they've ever read a book on anything. And their conclusions that they have from watching other people's clips are bad because they know nothing. They make poor conclusions, and these conclusions you then buy into. So this is a problem, and this goes, of course, to all the chiropractors out there. Now, there... So he's a researcher. So he goes out and looks at research from many, many years ago to the present ones, trying to uncover things that are a little bit different, a little more interesting uh, that he can publicize. And of course, he talks about a lot of the same stuff, because how much stuff can you talk about? He's been on there for years and has a very international following, etc. But people are taking these things way too direct. That this guy somehow is some genius other than reading papers from someone else, and this is a problem. So the whole idea is reading papers from someone else uh, doesn't talk about the validity of that. To think that any institution on this planet has any credibility whatsoever is completely stupid. They're all paid by corporate dollars to push that. The $60 billion supplement industry uh, is something that has no credibility. They'll jump on anything. Most supplements are totally useless. You cannot um, actually absorb anything that's going in your body. Many of them even make products that are impossible to absorb and are now charging you anywhere from $20 to $80 a bottle, with the average around $30 to $40 for supplements now, where you get very little from that product. Even herbals that are still very cheap when bought in bulk, you're paying a fortune for. So it's a very profitable industry, and it's fraught with fraud. Uh, one study was made on uh, cinnamon, and of course, uh, helping with one of the critical problems we have out there with blood sugar, and this was grabbed by all these goofballs shot all over the web when there was only one study and it showed mediocre results. Now, if it was easy to solve blood sugar problems, by using natural supplements, and they would knock your blood sugar down like they all say, nobody would be taking these other drugs. Not only are the supplements generally cheaper, kinda, because if your insurance pays for it, they're kind of a lot more expensive. So we have to be very understanding of what's going on there as well. So if it was that easy, nobody would be taking these other things. It's a fraud, and the supplement companies are just as criminal as doctors. Now, if you're selling supplements like he is, you're never going to talk like this. And instead of putting, pushing yourself ahead of the crowd and saying how much better your stuff is, uh, they just continue to sell their own little formulas, which are not very unique and don't do anything more than anything else. They're not made in a particular way. They're not better digestible, etc. I see nothing of that coming from Berg and his product line. So... Uh, regardless of his personal background, it has absolutely nothing to do um, with his basic uh, nutritional advice. And again, he stresses he's not a doctor. This is kind of his personal opinion. He can't prescribe. Uh, he's giving you general educational information, as everyone does out there, because ultimately you have to go to your doctor and discuss with them if this is good for you, or some medical professional at the very least. Everybody is different, and what may seem innate, not affected, oh, it can't hurt you, it's a natural product, is a lie. Anything that works can hurt. There's an old adage in alternative medicine, and something everybody should live by. So, we need to understand that in the bigger picture of what's going on. 
So I find that his information in general, which is gained pretty much, it's repetitive all over YouTube. Uh, people are saying pretty much the same thing. His stuff varies like most people. Some people demonize eggs and say you should never eat them. There's one chiropractor that eats hundreds of them and thinks it's the best food out there. So um, who do you believe and who do you not believe? Uh, we've been lied to on every single level, and the alternative people aren't any better. The bottom line is we've got lots of new diets, which people love because they're more satiating. But the bottom line is that vegetarianism has proven over 100 years to be the most effective diet you can have, and the people on it live the longest. That's a fact established over 100 years now. So all the keto diets and the carnivore and everything else we like because we can chomp down on that fat and everything, which makes us feel better and does make us lose weight, by the way. They're relatively good diets. But who's going to go out there and push vegetarian? Ah, oh, that's that doctor who talks about vegetarianism. Click. Nobody likes that. I'm not going to eat none of them plenty stuff. There's even some medical doctors out there telling you that some of these vegetables are toxic. Well, I find that hard to believe in the bigger picture, but of course, everybody's bio entity is different. So when you eat something from nuts to lettuce, you could be having a problem there. And we don't know what's on those particular vegetables, which you are eating, the toxins, the other things that may be giving you a negative response. So nothing is general. You have to figure it out yourself, and there are ways of doing it. And you can figure out what's good for your body and what's not good for your body. And that's really what it comes down to. Certainly the diet we, that everybody eats and then uh, wants to criticize the government uh, for not telling them that. And of course, pushing them towards grains and other things which are not really bad for you. But eating lots of carbs. But you're basically talking about junk food when we're talking about overeating carbs. So... Potato chips, potatoes, all the junk out there that's loaded with carbs that have no nutritional value whatsoever. So, it's a little misunderstanding to talk about the fact that this is plain and simple, uh, just a no-carb situation. Certainly, your body really doesn't need carbs. We've ate too much of it in a Western society. We continue to take in more with the pizzas, the pastas, all the things you think are relatively good. Well, they're not good for you. And a carb is nothing more uh, than a complicated sugar. And it breaks down into sugar. And you just don't need it in Western diet. We're eating too much fun foods that taste good that kill you. So, um, but you know, he doesn't know a lot of this kind of stuff. He doesn't talk that much about too much of this stuff. And of course, you always want to talk about happy subjects when you get into the YouTube because this will cure you. This will take care of your problem. This will heal your liver. This will heal your kidneys. This will keep you alive longer. This is what people want to hear, and they don't want to hear anything else, period. Now, the major problem with Dr. Berg, as so many other people, and one of the things that you want to look anytime that you listen to a person take their advice is other than the research they're doing, which, as I said, uh, once you get to the bigger picture of research, it's all bogus. We just don't know any of it. We can't trust any of these trials done by corporations to prove that cinnamon, uh, which has now been sold 10 times the amount it was in the past, is going to take care of your sugar problems. Of course, medical doctors have very little to choose from, and most of their recommendations for taking pharmaceuticals have a bad toxic effect. So it's very hard to recommend stuff. Metformin, which was thought to be this great, great drug more than three, four, five years ago, now is shown to have all sorts of terrible side effects, and a lot of people have problems with it. Uh, so the whole idea is that you can't go around pushing this all the time. So you're going to jump on research and you're going to say, yeah, the Institute of Mental Case Liars Corporate University of Massachusetts um, recommends this. They know, they're the researchers. And if you get caught and you say, well, you know, you said to, to take this and it didn't work or it was toxic. Well, you know, what am I supposed to do? This is a credible institution. Credible institution? Is that like military intelligence? Isn't that kind of a stupid response? So the whole idea is that uh, these are the type of things that he tends to uh, move away from telling people. And if you notice his live feeds and everything else, people have tried all this nutritional stuff, and most of it failed. 
They call them up saying, I'm having trouble, that this is not working, that is not working. Yeah, but I support you. The same old thing that the, why the world is the way it is. People support failure instead of success. So we run into these problems with the major problem with anybody. And if you listen to anybody on YouTube, you should note one thing from them. And that is, are they in practice now? Are they seeing patients? This is very important. Because this is how you get feedback right in your face of whether something works or not. Then it gets down to the credibility of what they're doing. You got to remember these people are making thousands and thousands of dollars off of YouTube. This could be as, as much as five to $20,000 a month. And even if you're a richy doctor screwing everybody and letting them die in front of you, uh, making good money off of their death, that kind of money as a doctor or anybody else is going to be significant enough in your life that you're going to have to pay attention to it and keep that money coming in. Five to ten thousand dollars a month is quite a bit of money. So, as is all things in life, guess what? They're whores. <laughs> They're all whores. So the whole idea is you can't believe anything you hear on that because it's all based in money. They are not doing you a service. They are making money off of you in a really despicable way, and that's what they all do. Now, if a person doesn't have a practice where he can give somebody some sort of supplement and say what they've done on it, now, Eric Berg, Dr. Berg, does not have a practice. He hasn't been in practice for 10 or 20 years now. All he has is research. And then he tries to keep up on the research in his own little way, which uh, I find too, that he is probably not the sharpest knife in the drawer, so to speak. But the bottom line is that reading research that you cannot personally back up yourself or with a group of patients where you can confirm the results is, a, is information that is dangerous. But he's not going to do that. He makes a fortune off of YouTube, so he's going to report how wonderful the researchers are. And research from all this, the channels is bogus. Research is very expensive. Somebody has to pay for that. So the whole idea is we need to understand that on a deep level. So the bottom line, he doesn't have a practice. He does not get any direct feedback from anything he's taking other than the fact of selling supplements and getting a feedback from there. But you don't really ever hear him saying how wonderful this works for this or that. Um, apparently, from his son, he used to handle a lot of the calls to his office or wherever. A lot of people were not satisfied with his actual formulas. Now, I don't know how true that is or not. And I don't particularly think that his formula is any better or worse than anybody else's. The bottom line is that uh, supplements in themselves, if they're not taken, and I don't find him selling too many tinctures, are virtually worthless. So... To start with, all supplements have to be carefully blended, made into liquid so your body can take it in properly, or they don't work hardly at all. Now, that depends on what substance you're talking about, but the bottom line is, is that everything should be made into a liquid, or your body has to break it down and it becomes one problem after another. Now, again, he's not going to talk about this because making tinctures is difficult and costly, but why would he worry about that when he can make millions of dollars selling stuff that doesn't work very well? Uh, basically making his living on the placebo effect as everybody who sells supplements does. So anything that's not really in a proper tincture, that is, which basically means a, something that's made into a liquid, is virtually worthless. So um, we have to understand all that. So his stuff isn't that. Excuse me. His practice is not with regular people. He's getting uh, secondary information from selling supplements. And he's reading a lot of bogus research reports. So he has very little feedback in the bigger picture. So that's, as I said, that's a recipe for disaster. And you're going to have empty pockets as you lay in the ground dead because you are not getting the right information. So very, very critical there and something that everybody has to understand. So in general, 
I would say that his information is pretty good in the bigger picture. Uh, he talks about things you should eat and take, natural foods, things that work for you, supplements and so forth. I would say the information is pretty good. But again, you have to work on your own bio system and does it work for you? And is are you allergic to it? Does your body take it in? This is done usually through muscle testing and other things that you can do with pendulums. You can test your own stuff. All of this stuff, uh, and of course, we instruct people on how to do this on our All Access and Patreon. And if you're not a member of this channel, subscribe to it and make sure you do things like support us on Patreon so we can continue the work like this. It will save your life in the long run. Your soul, your life, your spiritual reality, your success in life is all based on getting proper information from people that know who are in the front lines like myself. I've been very, very successful in life for over 50 years now. So the whole idea is that we have to understand that uh, this is the reality that is out there, and this is the reality that uh, everyone has to face. Those are the measuring sticks. Does this person have a going practice? And of course, it's near impossible to uh, uh, get information from these people directly. They, they, they have too many people on their YouTube channel, so you can't really uh, email them or leave a comment that they're going to respond to. Very rare, which is another bad way of doing things. Serious comments should be answered, even if you don't answer them all. But they don't, and nobody does. I should say very few. So that's the criteria you should look at. So the point is, he's missing a huge percentage of information that is critical. So uh, giving a scale of 1 to 10 again, after considering all this, well, he's probably a 6, meaning that 40% of his uh, information that it gives you is faulty in the fact that it hasn't been researched properly. Is it generally good information that you can adapt to your life if you're smart enough? Well, yes and no. But Dr. Berg is pushed by YouTube, pushed by other people, and that's the kind of stuff you see out there. So it's the same old voices saying the same old things because that's what YouTube pushes. That's what they put out there. Instead of putting out credible people, they just want to keep hanging on the moving train. Uh, they don't want to help get proper information out there. They want to push people that people like so they have more views, etc. This, again, makes the people involved very wealthy and gives the public uh, generally bad information, which is basically what social media is all about. The squeaky wheel everybody listens to regardless of the fact that that wheel is moving or not. Usually it's already been rusted closed. So it's a real problem. So I hope that's helped everybody. I'm going to be talking about other um, so-called doctors, chiropractors, and people giving nutritional and otherwise information. So stay tuned for that. And remember, there is no reality until the manifesting scientist creates it.